Hey, what's up, guys? I don't really know how to start this moto vlog. Man. I don't even know where to begin. Just to give you a quick background, I've, I've had a really hard life. I've had a lot of trials and tribulations. I've had a lot of struggles throughout the years. You know, that's that's what you do. It's life. I mean, life kicks you in the balls and you just get right back up. You keep on riding. Life knocks you off your bike. You dust yourself off and you get right back on it. So there was never a doubt in my mind uh, that I would be successful and I would do something with my life because no matter what, what's the alternative? Well, I found out that alternative today. That alternative is being homeless and being so broke to the point that you just can't afford you just can't afford to do anything. It's just been a really big struggle for me for a long time. And uh, as of today, it finally came to fruition. You ever heard the expression, bad things come in threes? Well, I got shortchanged on my paycheck this week. It just so happens to be the same day that I needed that money to be able to move into a new place. Second thing is, I found out that one of my family members is really, really sick. And I was trying to figure out what the heck the third one is, and I just figured it out. I'm staring at a really bad thunderstorm, and I'm heading right into it. Let me go back, and I'll, I'll tell you the story. The only reason why I'm going to open up to you guys and talk to complete perfect strangers about this situation is because I'm hoping that maybe my suffering and my mistakes will help someone else out. I haven't really admitted it to myself, but ever since I moved back from Hawaii and me and my fiance split up, I have become a full-blown alcoholic. And because of that, I lost a very dear friend of mine. I don't really know what happened. All I know is the next morning he told me that I had fallen up the stairs and was puking, and I tried to go to the bathroom. I ended up in his room. That's not a way to live. It's, it's, not, it's not a behavior that is tolerable or acceptable by anybody. So as a result, I became homeless. Well, I had gone roommates.com, and I had planned on finding a place to stay, and I did. Unfortunately, the paycheck that I got today wasn't anywhere near what I needed. And then I I started looking at my budget and I started looking at, all right, well, so I have the money to move in right now, but let's look two weeks down the road. I'm in a constant snowball. What I mean by that is that I'm never going to get caught up. If I keep getting the paychecks that I'm getting, I'm, I'm never going to get caught up. I've been studying for my real estate exam. And uh, if I had been commissioned in the sales that I've been getting, uh, I would I would have no problem. None. None whatsoever. I've left, uh, let's just say I've left five figures on the table and couldn't collect it because I wasn't commissioned. That's neither here nor there. My point is that because of my actions, because of, because of my depression and my alcoholism, not only did I completely, irrevocably destroy my life, I also lost a good friend in the process. That hurt a lot, a whole lot, to know that, that someone who was a very good friend of mine literally does not want to be associated with me. That's a hard pill to swallow, my friend. That's a hard pill to swallow. So why am I telling you guys this? Well... Because unfortunately, I will no longer be doing any moto vlogs. I, I'm gonna have to. Damn it! I have to. I have to give up the bike. It's my only mode of transportation, 
and um, I I can't I I can't afford it. So I'm going to have to quit my job, and uh, I've been with Starwood Vacation Ownership for over four years, and it has been the most amazing job. I've, I lived in Hawaii. I mean, the company literally took me to Maui, and I became a front office manager at the Western Ka'ana Poly. The plan is, is that uh, this family member, they're going to come pick me up from a very long distance away from Pennsylvania tomorrow morning. I've got all my stuff packed and um, I'm going to move to Pennsylvania, take care of this family member, get a job as uh, like a server or something in Baltimore, which isn't too far away. This is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. I love motovlogging so much amidst all of the adversity and the challenges that I'm having to face. The one thing I'm regretting is actually stopping motovlogging. Hi. I, I don't know who that is, but I guess they recognize me. Hmm, interesting. I did help start this whole motovlogging revolution uh, back in 2004-ish, I think is when it was. And you know, it's funny, too. Uh, one of the guys that subscribes to my channel, his name is Zono7, he, he was there. That was back in the day. We didn't have a name for it. That's how early it was. We were like, well, I don't know what the hell to call it. Well, you know, I had to ask myself, what is my biggest passion? And after that moment, I, I sat down and I, I thought about it. And uh, motorcycles, that's always been my biggest passion. You know, I've been riding for what, 12 years now. And... Um, I had, at that time, I had been riding for about two years, and that was my biggest passion. It was the one thing that I truly, truly enjoyed. So, lo and behold, what did I do? I started uh, looking at motorcycles again. I, I hadn't had one um, for about six months. What's up, guys? I started searching for the bikes that I wanted to look for, and uh, I, I looked at uh, the Kawasaki 650R. So I did first-person view 650R. And lo and behold, who do I get? Mordeth13, who you guys know as M13. Uh, back in live video, he was Mordeth13. And then he went to YouTube, and then he got kicked off YouTube, and then he went back to live video, and now he's on YouTube because live video is dead. Uh, I decided that um, I would go get a motorcycle, which I did, and uh, got a camera, which back in the day, we didn't have these tiny little GoPros. Uh, we had an actual digicam shoved in our helmet. <laughs> I mean, some of us old school guys, probably our nose is like an inch shorter just because of the freaking cameras. When I started doing those moto vlogs, all my serious depression went away. And I'm here to tell you, one of the biggest reasons why I'm doing this video is to let you guys know that depression is a disease. And depression is something that you have to fight. You cannot give up. I don't care how hard it gets. You cannot give up. So if there's anyone out there that it just happens to watch this video and is suffering from depression and is thinking about suicide and thinking about taking their life or just giving up all in general, you know, just being a homeless bum in the world, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't give up. As hard as it is for me right now, I can still tell you that I'm not going to give up. All right, guys. So, unfortunately, this is my last 
Motovlog. In fact, by the time you guys watch this, I will be in Pennsylvania. I do have some videos that I haven't done. I've got two, maybe three series that I haven't even posted yet. So you'll see some videos come out, and you'll see me online. I'm still going to be watching your videos, and I'm still going to be liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, just like you guys have done for me. And I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for lifting me out of, you know, the depression that, that I've, I've dealt with. The one you see in these videos that is laughing and giggling and goofing off and having a good time, that's me. So don't, please don't be mad at me for not sharing some of the adverse situations that I've had to deal with, you know, in, in my recent days. I'd rather show you the real me, the real Jasper Chase. And so that's what I've been doing. This, unfortunately, this just is, it is what it is. And unfortunately, it just sucks, to be honest. It, it just sucks. But I'll still be online. I'll still be checking out your videos. I'll keep doing what I'm doing. And I will be back. I just got to focus on me right now and get my life back together, but I'd like to leave you with a quote that's actually from, from me. Amidst the most extreme adversity can create the opportunity to become successful. That's it, guys. Jasper Chase and the Chase Jasper YouTube channel signing off. Thank you all.